this is my view yeah. on taxation. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, I did leave California for a reason. <laughs> no. Uh, well, yeah. But um, <laughs> there are certain social programs that we should advocate for in the United States, and we should have those social programs, and then we should tax people accordingly. That's my view of it. So some people are like very moral and like we should pay more taxes and we should pay less taxes. Like I'm not here to punish anybody with taxes. I don't care about that. I just whatever social programs we have, we should fund. Um, I'm okay paying taxes. I'm okay with a progressive tax system. Like I, I definitely pay all my taxes. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm never one, like, when somebody's like, should we pay more or less? I'm like, we should have the social programs we need, and then we should fund them. So right now, like, the rate of taxation for wealthy people is probably a little bit low, but um, my biggest complaint living in California was the state taxes here are really, 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 really high. I think the highest in every other place except for, like, New York City. Yep. And I don't know where that money goes. Nobody does. <laughs> it goes to a rail system that was never built. Oh, the billion-dollar rail to nowhere or whatever? Yep. Um, oh, and the lamps. Did you guys see the lamps? Mm -mm. What was that? Nobody else has seen the lamps. No, I feel crazy. It was either, it was like San Francisco or San Jose or LA or somebody. There's like $10,000 lamp installations oh. on the street and I've no one knows what they like, do. YouTube videos of like, this $2 million public bathroom oh, was built I've in Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a tiny little like normal public bathroom. It's like uh, Yeah, someone did an investigation of how this thing cost $2 million mm -hmm. when the market value of that should have been about 80000 mm -hmm. And they went in and they investigated and they interviewed people who were involved that everyone was silent. Mm -hmm. And it seems as though a lot of money went to permits, developers, contracts, random things, and overpaying. So if someone gets a budget of a million dollars, they'll spend all million dollars saying, well, this concrete is 10 times more because mm -hmm. you know this is what the budget is. Mm -hmm. So it seems like a lot of money wasted on that. It's very strange because like America is like <clears throat> the freest, most capitalist country and blah, blah, blah on earth, but we have so much like bureaucratic red tape on like construction yeah. and everything. It's like what, insane. You have to spend yeah. all of your budget if you want yeah. to get it back. What you really upset me was that downtown Los Angeles, they wanted to build a homeless shelter there. And... I forget. I don't know. This isn't LA like kind of already homeless. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> sorry. So they I'm wanted sorry. to build a new one downtown Los Angeles, uh -huh. and so someone investigated this that they had signed a lease and they had been paying for like six years now fifty thousand dollars a month for a warehouse. Mm -hmm. They have not even started construction on it yet. Mm -hmm. They had not built it yet, and apparently it had foundation issue, and they couldn't do anything with it. Yeah, so, the, the issue. But they is, kept paying it for uh -huh. years. And so what it came down to was that the person who signed this mm -hmm. did a deal with their friend and they had a business connection to spend all the money in a lease so that their colleague could get all the money for that okay. without providing anything in return. Nice. It's still going. Well, so usually for a lot of stuff like that, what will happen is, is like you rent something, you discover there's a problem, <clears throat> then you have to contact an inspector, then you have to wait for the inspector to come out, then he gives the okay, then like the city comes out and then they okay it, and then step one of whatever thing happens, and then another inspector comes out, and then and it's like, it's just such a nightmare, but. But yeah, that's my, my big problem with LA is that like, my, the thing that really fucked my head up was anytime I travel to Europe, there are so many social services and everything available that seem to run pretty well. Like they're not perfect. They've got their problems, but like public transit in all of Europe is fucking awesome. And then I come back to America and I'm paying like now I live in Florida. My tax situation is cool. But when I live in California, I've got huge cost of living. I've got huge taxes and a massive state tax. Like I want to say my effective tax rate, um, like two, like, I want to say like two or three years ago, my effect tax rate was like 42% or something. And I'm like, I'm oh, like, paying, I've seen routinely more than 50%. Yeah. I'm like paying like, paying like European levels of taxes here. Like this is fucking wild. Like why, why, how am I paying? Like I'm supposed to be making fun of people in Europe for paying this level of taxation. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's my issue. I, I, I'll gladly pay a lot of taxes. I just want to like get something for it, I guess. Like if there was like a functional public transit in LA, maybe I'd feel differently or. What's crazy with California, the short term uh, capital gains tax rate is something about 53%. Really? Yeah. Short-term capital gains. Because you're taxed as ordinary income. Yeah. And then you have to pay state tax on top of that. Uh -huh. And if you make over a million dollars a year, there's another 3.8 net investment tax that gets paid on top of that. Oh, so when you say short-term capital gains, you're just talking about that, the net added to the Correct. state on the federal. At, yeah, at yeah, the I got top you, I got income bracket. I understand. Okay. So it's, it's hefty. Mm.